Sunday, December 5th, yes. and we are at Zion National Park, mm -hmm. and we're about to hit the Wildcat Canyon Connector Trail. Right. And I hope I got that right. Yes. Yes, it's one of the <laughs> less popular trails out yeah. here. Um, it's Sunday, so we wanted to get on a less crowded trail, mm -hmm. and it's a moderate trail, so we wanted to start off taking it easy. Um, but it looks amazing so far. Oh, it's so beautiful here. Yeah, so um, yeah, so I've never been here. Have you? No. Yeah, so we're new here, and we're going to bring you all along with us, and we will get back with you all. All right. Right, y'all so um, we we're hiking I saw this little spot um, off trail so we hiked back there and it's actually just right back there but it was an awesome little camping area and then once you get it's kind of grassy and then you go a little bit past that and you come out to this and look at this view and then there's like these little rocky points right there and Oh man, this is so cool. And apparently this is like the boring side of Zion. Yeah, yeah. 
So the first about mile and a half, it's kind of boring because you're just flat walking think, through the desert. She loves it. It's cool. I it's liked like a it. Desert prairie thing. It's cool, but after the Grand Canyon, it was, I was kind of <laughs> like, Ugh. but then you start climbing about a, a mile and a half, yeah. I would say, and you come up into this, and dude, this is epic. And if this is not the greatest part of Zion. I bet it is because there's not a lot of people. Oh my gosh, we haven't seen a single person on the trail. It's yeah. so relaxing. So we'll see when so we nice. go to the more popular areas. Um, and we'll have to weigh it out. The beauty yeah. and the crowds. Yeah. Because this is epic and there's no one around. <laughs> and we are going to take advantage of the yes. spot and take a break. Yes. And man, life is good. Life is good. <laughs> So we're stopping for a little bit, yep. enjoying this Amazing beautiful view. view. Trail's really awesome. What do you think? I love it. It's um, I mean, you know, a lot of the trail was not as interesting, and I would definitely cut off the part going up to the second trailhead. The this last is, point nine. Yeah, it's sort of weird. Like this trail, actually, it it has you go from one trailhead to another trailhead, and it's a yeah. little, and then you go back. So, but that's fine. I mean, I'm not trying to complain. Just you know. Yeah. It's cool opinion. though. I mean, it's but definitely a chill, and we've only seen. Incredible. We didn't see people until we got to the other trailhead, trail and there was a yeah. group of kids, some um, van life for people. You'll see a lot of them. You come out here, man. Lots of those yeah. van life people. <laughs> um, so we're rolling onto around our fourth month of doing this yeah. on the road. Yeah. And I think it's a. We've been here long enough to get a good assessment of, you know, kind of the gist of it. And um, what would you say is your favorite thing so far about traveling and living in an RV? I, um, I guess, you know, it's kind of both like getting to travel 
which I've never really been a super traveler, but now that I'm doing it, it's really fun. And not having to pack really, because <laughs> all my stuff's already when there. When you go on trips, yeah, yeah. It's awesome. Like, you know, yeah, sure, we have to squash down and all that stuff, but it's that's kind of set and we know what we're doing. And other than that, it's like, all my stuff's here. It's great. I don't have to like drag it into a hotel room or a condo or whatever. Um, I mean, I just think it's awesome. Yeah. So, yeah, for me, basically, it's the same thing. It's just like a lot like through hiking. You're always moving, um, waking up in a new place, exploring a new environment. And um, you're just not in the same old, same old every day, day after day. Yeah. And that's what I love the most yeah. about it. Obviously, there's no doubt about it. And also that you and me we've been living in a tighter spot been having to work a lot more together yeah. together a lot more and our cats i know this sounds goofy but it's made us a way way closer family yes. unit even i feel like my cats are more affectionate and happy yeah i swear they seem happier yeah because we're with them most of the time yeah 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 i mean it's just you know i love it the only downside i just wish i'd i need to start buying those lottery tickets yeah, well, that's the only downside. But, it's awesome, but we're working on it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like I said, it's it's awesome. I'm is, enjoying it a lot so far. Yeah, me too. All right, well, we're gonna keep on hiking, and we will get back with y'all. All right. So we finished the trail. What trail was it? Again? It was the Wildcat Canyon Trail Connector. That's right. That's Wildcat right. Canyon Connector Trail. I don't know. But basically it went from the trailhead for um, the Hop Valley Trail, I think it was called. And it took that, um, connected it with the actual Wildcat Canyon Trail. That's yeah. why it's called a connector. Yeah, but it was beautiful. It, it was, was a cool trail. Yeah, it's about 10 miles yeah. out and back. And then all in all, we explored a little bit off trail. So we probably hiked about 11 miles today. Yeah. And I don't feel that bad. No, like if I had so done much. 11 miles in the Grand Canyon. <laughs> I was joking. Yeah. Like I'd still be there <laughs> yeah, trying yeah. to get out. <laughs> so it wasn't that hard of a hike. No, and it was really beautiful yeah. and really laid back. Like I said, we didn't see hardly anyone. We met these locals. They oh, were in a so truck nice, though, super nice. Um, so we talked to them for probably like five minutes. Yeah. 
Mm -hmm. And um, yeah. Everyone around here has been so nice that we've met all the locals. They really have, man. Like the grocery store. Yeah, super nice. Um, I'm thinking I might move to Utah and become a Mormon. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I think you have to be Mormon to live in Utah. I'm pretty sure. (laughs) But anyway, so we finished the trail, so we're taking this extra trail um, and to watch the sunset. So we're hoping to catch a cool spot. So, yeah, so we're going to keep on hiking, try to find a cool spot to watch it. And, of course, we're going to bring you all along with us. (laughs) All right. Good morning, y'all. It is Monday, December 6th, mm-hmm. and we are at another lesser known trail yes. in Zion. Yeah. Go ahead. What's the Oh, yeah. We're at Coal Pits Wash, which. She's is... my trail announcer, by the way. It's like about seven miles out and back up a wash, which I guess is sort of like a ditch. Anyway. Um, but, um, we just didn't feel like dealing with crowds still today. So we chose this one. Plus it's less than 10 minutes from where we're staying. So it was a nice little quick, easy drive. Yeah. Yeah. Like I I got up this morning. I was just, (laughs) I don't know, man. I was like slow and just kind of, I don't know if it just felt mellow, pretty tired. I still do. Like I could have slept longer. (laughs) And so we're like, oh, let's just, you know, find a nearby trail, one that's not crowded and. This one had reviews like, you know, there's some rock scrambling and stuff yeah, like that. So it looks more like a just a fun workout trail, which yeah. is kind of what we, we are always, looking for today. Yeah, we always feel better when we get out, you know? Like we may feel like, oh, we just want to sit here. And then we get out and we're like, oh, so much nicer to be out. So. Definitely. <laughs> and I'm sure we'll hit the more popular areas coming up. Yeah. We've got to at least try <laughs> since we're here. Uh, all right, y'all. Well, we are going to get to hiking and we will get back with y'all. All right. Look at this thing. I don't know what kind of cactus this is, but it probably is the worst kind. I'm thinking just by looking at it. But but 
I am no cactus expert by no means. Look at this thing. Man, and here's the thing. It doesn't give. I mean, this thing is firm. Like, like <laughs> really firm. So if you fall on this thing, it's not giving much at all. And I mean, those spikes are sharp, sharp. Man, you do not want to fall in one of those. What do you think about that? I agree. <laughs> That's some creepy looking cacti. Cactus? <laughs> yes, yeah, since it's just one, just it's one. cactus. Yeah, it's just one, right? Cacti yeah. is plural. If there were two of these, it would be cacti. But this guy is just the cactus. Probably the baddest ass cactus out here in the desert. My goodness. taking a little break so what do you think about this trail so far? i'm having fun we're doing a lot of um i guess it's bouldering technically right just like jumping around on big rocks <laughs> yeah so i think that's cool yeah so it's this wash as you can see behind us and you have the options there's pretty much trails on each side yeah. or you can go right through the slot so we've just been kind of like picking and choosing yeah. our own adventure this trail is kind of like that. You can tell there's footprints on each side going through it. So pretty much you can pick your own route going through here. And as long as you're staying close to the washout, the stream, yeah. the creek, whatever you want to call it, <laughs> um, you're okay. You're not going to yeah, get You can only go trail. so far. Cause yeah, it's... and you're right in a canyon. So, I mean, yeah. So yeah. it's fun. It's fun. Yeah. But we were bouldering for a while, and, and after tiring. a while, it's fun and exhilarating. And then after a while, you're like, whew, Yeah, you I hit think a the wall. altitude's getting us again, maybe, too. Yeah, yeah. Yep. So, so yeah. So, but it's beautiful, and we were having fun. We and love Utah. Yes, we love Utah. <laughs> and we're going to take a break. And um, 
yeah, we will get back with y'all. All right. So we just finished the trail. Mm -hmm. We're back at the gate where our um, car is parked. So I'm cool tired. trail. Yeah. I'm tired too. I'm tired too. <laughs> it um, was a cool trail though. Yeah, it was cool. So we want to do the subway trail. We found out you need a permit. So we are going to go ahead and drive right now down to the touristy area and kind of see what it's all about because we got to go to the visitor center to get a permit. So we're going to go there and scope it out so tomorrow we can get there and get a permit so we can go do that subway trail. Yeah. Because I want to do at least do that trail for sure. Sounds good. All right. Well, <laughs> all right. Well, we're going to go ahead and um, call it a day and um, we will talk with y'all in the morning. All right. <laughs> 